Tracy here, bringing you the latest news and gossip from morning to night. Glowing Blue Bunny. A long time ago, there was a skilled hunter. On the way back from a hunt, he saw a light move in the darkness. Without hesitation, he followed an arrow toward it, and where it happened had been, he found a bunch of rupees. From that day forward, whenever he saw a similar light, he would fi fire an arrow at it. He's always found rupees where his target had been, and he grew quite rich. Or so the story goes. I bet you think this is a mere myth, right? That's what you... Then what do you say about all the people who claim to have seen a glowing blue bunny in the forest lately? You probably say, oh, Tracy, thank you for writing volume six. Sounds about right. You should say that because the blue bunny is the light the hunter saw. Finding it means finding lots and lots of rupees. I can't endorse this bit of gossip enough. Tracy recommendation five out of five. Wait, I don't know how to use a bow and arrow. That really puts a damper on things. Tracy recommendation one out of five. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, Zach Morris here, and I'm a little upset. I lost an episode of recording because my capture glitched out and broke. So, to summarize, uh, sort of, kind of, sort of off recording, I climbed up this hill, this cliff, went here, jumped over to, let's see, where is it, where is it, that island over there, and tried to complete the shrine over there. So... In this episode, we're going to try and complete the island this time. Autosave sucks, by the way. Because now, I have nothing. I can't do any of that in this recording. But. But bear in mind, I do have the orb right here in my in inventory. It shows up on the loading menu. You guys will see what I mean. That being said, this is a fun shrine. And this is a shrine that a lot of people talked about. And I'm happy to be doing it over again. So, not a complete loss. This is the shrine. This is possibly what people refer to as probably the hardest shrine in the game. Simply because, well, you'll see. But, yeah, it's it's a good shrine. It's a pretty interesting shrine because it's unique. It's, un it's unique to all other shrines in the game. For for reasons you will soon see as soon as I touch down. Yeah, there's three... Yeah. I'll, I'll explain what I found out last time, again. But... But I, I, yeah, I didn't wind up beating it, so. So you have traveled to this island. Oh, God, there's, 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 a, the, the, there's, there's Bokoblins right next to me. I present you with a challenge. In your travels, you've relied on the equipment you found along the way. Here, you must cast this equipment aside and face this trial with only your wits and whatever you can scavenge. Yep, they take all your stuff. Offer up the orbs to the three altars on this island. Only then will I acknowledge your skill and return your items. Taking this. Yeah, this shrine is in fact unique in how it's played. You have to do the entire thing without equipment. You don't even have you don't even have healing items. You have nothing. You have whatever you find on the island and your key items. And all your tr and all your powers you've gotten up to this point, but that's it. You have whatever you f wind up finding. Which is important to remember, because you have to navigate through this entire island. Hey, 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 hey.
Yeah, it's important to remember. Yeah, but on the plus side, you do get a free supply of my bananas every time you come here. So, yeah, all in all, this is a pretty good shrine to come to, to have once you've beaten the, the, the island. You all, yeah, you do have all of your champion powers, so you're not entirely hopeless. As well as all of your ch uh, all of your gadgets and charms and stuff like that. Where's the where's the black one? Where's the black one? Where did he run off to? And I swear that's not supposed to be racist. If you if your mind jumped there, then that's on you. I'm don't shoot the messenger and all that. I'm just saying the things you shouldn't be thinking. All right. Oh, he walked up. He went up there. Okay, now we take this over here. Yeah, this island's this challenge is fine. I like this one. And it's not like you missed much with the last one. It was just a combat trial. Which they love to shoehorn in when they can't think of ideas. I'm not kidding, like half the shrines I've seen in this game have been combat trials. I'm not kidding. But yes, this is what he this is what the guy was talking about. You have to you see that pestle over there? There's three of the of these orbs that I'm holding. And you have to bring them to each of these pedestals you have to bring one to each pedestal and throw it in the water okay. where's my ice one ow Yeah, the, the, these first two I'm going to show you are easy. These first two I'm going to show you are easy. Oh, for... 
These first two are going to be easy, he says. Moments before dropping it in the water. You know, I really need to learn just to sh when to shut up and, and not jinx myself. That's something I really, really, really need to learn how to do. Come on. I, I, I know how to do this one. I promise. I know how to do this one. Don't move this time. Okay. We're good to go. Now I want to make sure. Got it. That's one. There's two more that I need to handle. And there's one last that and there's one I will be tackling last. I think you'll know which one it is when you when you see it. Actually, I'm going to take this branch because I need a weapon. swim through this? I did I thought I could swim through this. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize I could climb up here. Yeah, you can probably hear the he knocks there. Yeah, he has the last one. Yeah, have fun with that. I didn't realize I could climb up here, climb up this tree. Oh. Well, now I know I'm here. Ow. 
Ow! I got knocked off because one of them got struck by lightning for pick by picking up a, a metal weapon. Maybe I'm not going to do this one. Sit by the fire till morning. Why not? It, it, it needs to be significantly less wet for me to get up there. So. Yeah. First one's up here, second first one's up here, second one's over in the fort, and third one's on a Henox's neck. The Henox is the hardest one. But you can cheese it with bombs. Which I recommend doing. That one that got struck by lightning should have taken out all the other some of the other ones. Well, perfect. Ow, Link. Careful, buddy. Ah. Yee. There's the orb. Let's see, what do I have to heal myself? Um, Goodbye. 
All right, now we got to clear this out. Relatively easy task there. Rivali's Gale is now ready. There we go. And now to deal with the Hinox. Now the Hinox is interesting because he's got a lot of different ways you can deal with him. Of course that wasn't one of them. Perfect. I don't think he can get up here. I don't think it can get you up here. I think all it can do is throw rocks at you. Yeah, this is this is the probably the cheapest way you can take down a Hinox. It works for all of them, but it's especially good for this one because he can't get you, you up here. That and you can also take him down from up there, if you if you were so inclined as to do that. I recommend it. It's fun. Did he give up and go back to sleep? He did. He gave up and went back to sleep. It takes a lot of time and effort to do this, but it's definitely worth it. You can also sneak up next to him and get him right in the eye. This is a lot more fun, though. See, because the Hinox can't even get to you from up here. Now he's going back to sleep again. He got bored.
That's how you know he's mad. When he starts picking up a tree. Oh, I didn't realize I could fell trees with a bomb. Worth it. That was right under his butt. How did that not hurt? Right on his big toe. Okay. Oh, he just barely can't get me here. Yeah, he's definitely upset with me. Yeah, the trick is to know his range. Yeah, I also recommend using round bombs. Unless you want to leave proximity mines as he chases you around using the square ones. Yeah, it's very time consuming because of the cooldown. Yeah, I think we have to fight one of these guys to get in a Hyrule Castle. So... Come on, drop that already. I think we're reaching the part where he starts shielding his eye. Yeah, they start shielding your eye after a while, after you deal enough damage to them. I think we're nearing that point. Of course, it could be only if you shoot them in the eye, which I'm not. He's upset with me because he knows how cheap I'm being.
Yeah, Hinoxes have gotten a lot of different transformations and appearances in this game. I think this one might be my favorite. can't get up here, so. I don't think that hit hurt him. I don't think that last one hurt him. Got ya. Right in the ass. Right in the caboose. I also know he's weak to electricity, so if we so if we had some of those electric electric um arrows to spare, we probably could hurt him a significant amount. Almost dead. Catch. Come on, son, catch the baseball. I don't know why I'm imprinting on this. He knocks, especially when he's about to die. Maybe it's just one of those afternoons where I'm a lot weirder than usual. He's close. Now for my next trick, I will make this Hinox disappear. Poof! He dropped a lot of stuff. Hinox to- Blech. That's disgusting. Now we bring it to this hill up here. And this should be the last one. And that took uh, a couple of minutes, maybe. I'll have to check when I, when I go and edit this, but... Couldn't have been more than 10 minutes. Alrighty. Oh, that's right. This last one guarded. Forgot. Seared steak. Now we use our Magnesis rune to move these. And might as well bust them open to see what's inside. Ooh, stuff. I like stuff. 
Also, you can use the rocks that are up here to destroy the Hinox as well. But that's not nearly as fun. Did it slide all the way to the bottom? It did, didn't it? That Hinox shouldn't respawn for a while, so we got plenty of time to deal with this. Yeah, Xenox is... All the overworld bosses respawn, eventually. Don't know how long it takes, but it does happen. But either way, take this. Ploop it. I said ploop it. There we go. It plooped. It properly plooped. Of course, it's the highest point in the entire thing. I thought it would be up there. Yeah, and the other recording I did that got destroyed because this thing basically decided because this capture system basically decided to say, no, you're done for the day. Go go read a book or something, you loser. But anyway, you're done well to complete the trial. I will now return your things as promised. Come, enter the shrine. But yeah, the capture card was just having none of it. And now for the easy part. We just need to go up here, claim our reward. Because this was the trial, I, I think. Yeah, we gotta go up here. I'm lazy. You think I'm going to climb all the way up here? Kogo Shrine! Or however the hell you pronounce that. Anyway, we did it. Inside we go, get our stuff. Yeah, we did it. We did all we we done seventy of these. We got sixty more to go. I think. No, 50. There's 120. There's 120 of these. Hmm, not bad. Poke. Ba -na -na -na. All right. That wasn't too bad. And we do have access to an, to an island now. So. Yeah, now we never have to fly all the way over here. We can just teleport. It's a lot. Of, shrines are, in this game are a lot of fun. My question is, my question now is where do we go next from here? Um, let's see. I have my guide right here. Um, Child! Uh, it's east of the tower. Near, near the, um, shed. I, some, for some reason, not the shed, the, uh, Stable, but for whatever reason, I didn't do it. I don't know why. I just didn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm more lazy than I'm thought. Maybe I, it's getting worse as I go get older. I don't know. No, it's definitely getting worse because I have a tendency to sleep in. Definitely, definitely getting worse. I didn't sleep in at all when I was. I slept in a little bit when I was younger, but not to this degree. Now I'm sleeping in a hell of a lot more. So definitely getting worse as I'm getting older. 
I'd like to remedy that situation, but it takes a, takes a lot of retraining on my part to do that. Just how, just how I'm trying to retrain my brain so that I can actually do the new outro instead of the old one. And sometimes I forget. You can tell on which episodes I forget. Thank you. Oh, I, I, I seem to have uh, jumped right past it. Yes, I, I went the wrong way. God damn it. Flame sword! Yeah, it feels good to be back with this. You know what? I'm just gonna jump back to the tower. Just warp back. A lot easier than walking. I can tell you that much. A lot easier than walking. Yeah, this game. This game's fun, but it's tedious. Yeah, a lot of people say that this is probably one of the best Zelda games to come out in the while in the in a while. I kind of sort of disagree with them. I mean, yeah, it's a good Zelda game, don't get me wrong, but I prefer getting all the dungeon items and all that. I prefer going through all the dungeons and getting stuff. Should be right on top of it. Hmm. Hey, buddy, got a map? I have one. So this on this map of ores, do you see the dueling peaks up to the north of here? Well, apparently there used to be just one mountain a really long time ago. But just say a dragon god split the mountain in half to forge a way through, and that's how it went from one to two. Recently, some have been saying they've seen the shadow of a large creature on the surface of Lake Floria. I wonder if any of this is true. Probably. Where's the shrine? 
I hear it, but I don't see it. Is it up here? I want to say it's up here. I hear it, but I don't see it. I don't get it. It says it's right here. I hear it, but I don't see it. I need help. Tracy here, bringing you the latest news and gossip from morning to night. Glowing blue bunny. A long time ago, there was a skilled hunter. On the way back from a hunt, he saw a light move in the darkness. Without hesitation, he followed an arrow toward it, and where it happened had been, he found a bunch of rupees. Then that day forward, whenever he saw a similar light, he would fi fire an arrow at it. He's always found rupees where his target had been, and he grew quite rich. Or so the story goes. I bet you think this is a mere myth, right? That's what you... Then what do you say about all the people who claim to have seen a glowing blue bunny in the forest lately? You probably say, Oh, Tracy, thank you for writing Volume 6. Sounds about right. You should say that, because the blue bunny is the light the hunter saw. Finding it means finding lots and lots of rupees. I can't endorse this bit of gossip enough. Tracy's recommendation, 5 out of 5. Wait, I don't know how to use a bow and arrow. That really puts a damper on things. Here's a recommendation one out of five. <laughs> mm. I, I hear it, but I don't see it. Oh, it's behind a rock. That explains everything. The Bali scale is now ready. Shayoto. I should look for all those shrines I'm missing. I knew it was here. I knew it was. I heard. I could hear it on my thing. I knew it was here. Hmm. 
very hard to find shrines sometimes. They like to hide from you. Halt the tilt. Oh, no. What you got for me? All right, now we freeze it. Okay, this shrine's pretty straightforward. Stop the tilt. That's right. You don't mess with me. Have I gotten the Muo gene yet? Oh wait, that was the one I got last time. Yes. Well, well, last time in air quotes. I I sort kind of sort of did it off camera as I explained. Have I gotten all the shrines in here in this area yet? I got 72. I'm close to 100. I need 18 more to get 100. And then 20 more to get... Uh, it's... I want to say... 33? I want to say 33? Alright. Let's go find another one. Yes, it, it, that was, in fact, the one I've done last time. Okay, let's see if there... Are there any I've missed in this area? Korguchide, I just did. Tawajin was... Totosa... I don't think I've done Tawajin. I uh, yeah, I don't think I've done Tawajin. Um Taw wait, Tawajin would be right located right here, it says. Right to the south. On the east in the Cluda. I want to say. Yeah, this mountain right here. Yeah, let's see what it is. I want to try and get all the shrines, especially, and I'm missing quite a few. Which is why I have the guide open at all times. Yeah, the ones I can't find, I will look up in here. I have enough time for the last for one more, maybe. I I have to see what it is. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. No, no, I'm not doing this one. 
I'm not doing this one. I just I just looked at what it is. please <laughs> Aha. you guys are a pushover now but yeah I'm not doing this one in this episode I know what it is because I've looked up what it is and I excuse me sir I'm trying to talk to my to my adoring pu a public thank you very much yeah I know what this one is it's you have to kill Henox three Henoxes mm, yeah I've seen this one this one's not gonna be fun that being said I am going to try and find it before the episode's over Let's see if I can get a... Alright. Yep! Found it! Yep, there's one. There's there's one of them. I have to kill three of those things. But I am going to show you the sh the area for it. Yeah, there's three of these. I ooh, tablet. The ancient orbs guarded by the giants of Mount Taran lead to the shrine. The three giant brothers. Oh boy. Yeah, I need to kill all three Henoxes, bring their orbs up here, and yeah, that's about it. This is about it, really. Long and short of it, that's about it, and I'm going to die a million times trying to do it. So yeah, I'm going to be leaving the episode here, but I will be co continuing off with this one. Because this one is going to take a good amount of time. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, hit that like and the subscribe button. I could always use a new addition to the Moon Rabbit Army. Also be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below to keep up with me and all that good stuff. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.